Hello and welcome to Averone's Armorial. Today we're going to talk about liveries and badges, two terms that are often used and that are kind of a mystery to some people, which is interesting because usually they're quite blatantly obvious. Liveries we'll cover first. I know the title is backwards, but I figured it would make more sense to cover that because they lead into each other. Liveries are basically just the two predominant um, colors that are found in a shield. So it's mainly the main metal and the main color. And those are the liveries. If you read um, a grant of arms from Lord Lyon or the College of Arms or something, it will always say, say something to the effect of, and on a wreath of liveries is set for crest, etc. But on a wreath of liveries or on mantling or double d'azur or something like that. And those are the liveries. So it's the two predominant colors. Now, liveries make a lot of sense for flags and for coats is what it used to be. So more so on the continent than in Britain, but they were common in both. But on the continent in what is now today Germany and France and such, you often saw frocks, or in Germany they called them Waffenfrocks that were very common in the 14 and 1500s, which were short, maybe to mid-thigh length, um, padded coats, almost like a, uh, what's it called? Like a gambeson almost, but not quite as heavy. And they would have been done in the livery colors of the Lord or whoever that they served. So it would probably be a metal in color and it would be half and half. And that developed more and more and by the 15th century, as Gare puts it, and we're going to read from Gare in a moment, that livery badges or badges in general had almost taken over the function of arms. So the arms might have been seen on some flags, but when it came to individual soldiers and things like that, you saw those two colors, you know, that's somebody's, those are those are so-and-so's men, and they'd have th that badge might be embroidered or sewn on to it. And, you know, if you think about it, in a time where it was very expensive to outfit and uniform, and back then it used to be in, well, if you're the yeomanry, you're expected to show up in, X, Y, and Z, bring so many pairs of hose and bring your spear and that sort of thing, and that's about it. And, you know, it's quite easy for the Lord to go around and say, this is the badge, I want all the ladies in camp to sew up a bunch of these and just everybody pin them to your breast and that's your, that's your uniform and it shows which company you belong to and whatnot. And, again, by the 15th century, a lot of badges had started taking over. Um, even today, if you go to the Tower of London, you will see the yeoman warders, the yeoman warders, sorry, I misspoke. And they wear a red frock, Tudor-style frock, and on it is the rose, which is the Tudor rose of red and white. It's, for example, most people wouldn't have known the arms of their of individuals, but they might have recognized the badges. Today, I doubt anybody could tell me what the Duke of Lancaster and the Duke of York's arms look like, but everybody knows what a red and a white rose means. So that's probably the greatest example. And badges really had their heyday in the later end of the medieval up through the Tudor period and into the tail beginning of the 1600s. And by then they had dropped out for other things. So that kind of talks about liveries and badges. And liveries also lend themselves well to lance pennons and things like that, small streamers, stuff where it was just kind of decorative flair and it was useful and stuff. And even later on into the early 20th century, many Calvary units would bear um, red and white or red and gold um, lance pennants in up through the Victorian and early Edwardian era, even in World War I. Um, there's a famous pictures of French cuirassiers in 1914, and when I mean cuirassiers, that wasn't just a unit of cuirassiers. I mean, they were still outfitted in their regular uniform with their breastplate and their helmet with the long horsehair mane and scarf wrapped around, and they had their lances, or they or they had cuirassiers would have had swords. Um, but there's a picture of the guy leading them, the leading the troop still has a guidon, and it's a livery pennant. Um, and the Germans um, in World War I, they still charged with Ulan Lancers and they all had black and, um, they would have been black and white 
Lance Pennants. So some modern examples of how badges have used been used. Um, you mostly see it nowadays in Highland clans and the form of this, which is a clansman's badge. And this is kind of my cheaper one. Um, but the way that these work is it's developed off of the crest. Now, most heraldic badges are based off of the crest or some main charge off of the arms. So in the Scottish tradition, these ones usually, 99.9% of the time, it's the chiefs, it's the crest off the chief's arms, and then it has a strap and buckle. And the strap and buckle would have gone around a surcoat or a livery coat or something like that, or it's your sword belt, you know, there's many different stories to how these developed. And then they have the motto around it. And any member who, any person who claims to be a clansman of so-and-so -so chief should wear their chief's badge, and that's common. Or as I've seen them today, people have been wearing face masks, as we all have to nowadays, but I've seen a lot that will have um, clans and badges, or they'll be tartan, and nowadays you can get your own badges printed up. So there's one that I had printed up with my arms on it, and I have another one coming that has my livery badge on it. So there's plenty of options out there these days for cool ma uh, for cool ways to show off liveries. If you're an armager, the mask thing works really well right now. I've seen hoodies and sweatshirts and such done in like a varsity style with that. Uh, definitely unique things nowadays. Like I said, the liveries and the, and the badges really lend themselves most to flags. But hey, if you can get creative, you can always do something like this.